Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, it is a great pleasure to be back with you all. Hello everyone. Today I have a very special video for you all. As you all can see, I filmed this video the same day as I filmed the Spanish version so my audience of both languages can enjoy this video. This month is a very special month for us servitors of the 21 division and also in Haitian voodoo. We celebrate three special feast days this month. July 25th, the feast day of Papa Ogun, July 26th, the feast day of Anaí Sapie, and July 29th, the feast day of Filomena Lubana, also known as St. Martha. So it is a very exciting month for every servitor. And today in this video, I will be teaching you small services that non-initiates can offer these three laws. We will start off with July 25th, which is the feast day of all the Oguns, not only of Ogun Balinjo. I remember when I was first beginning in the 21 division on July 25th, on that specific day, early in the morning, I used to wake up and find Papa Ogun in my living room. And I would ask him, Papa Ogun, what are you doing here so early? And he was waiting for me to prepare his feast, his favorite foods, and, and to fix his table for him where the service was going to be placed. And as I was preparing his food, I was always having a very deep conversation with him. So what service can non-initiates offer Papa Ogun? His seven-day candle, which is of the color blue, or you can also offer him a red candle. You can offer him some roses. You can offer him his favorite wine, which is red wine, his cigar, some black coffee, and a glass of water to keep Papa Ogun cool. This is very simple and all you have to do is lift it up and offer it to him. It doesn't matter if you have his image or if you don't. The important thing is the intention that comes from the heart, the love that you manifest to Papa Ogun. And as you place his offering before him, you can petition him for protection, you can petition him for guidance, and you can also petition him for healing because Papa Gun is a great healer. Now we go to the feast day of Anaís Sapie, a very well-known maitresa of the 21 division. And who doesn't know who is Anaís Sapie? I think everybody knows who is Anaís Sapie. Anaís Sapie is the queen of love, the queen of laughter, the queen of joy. Whenever she comes down in the servitor's head, she brings joy with her. You could feel her energy, how she raises the vibration of the place. But you must be very careful. Anaisa can really be a very, very tough loi. So what offering can you offer Anaisa Pia on her feast day? Yellow roses, water to keep her cool, beer, and a cigarette. After you present these offerings to Anaisa, you can petition her for love. You can petition her for guidance. You can petition Anaisa for her protection. Anaisa is very, very wise. And you can even ask her to teach you. And I'm sure Anaisa will receive your service or your offering with lots of love. And she will repay you. Because Anaisa, just as all the laws, whatever you give them, they give back. Now to July 29th. July 29th is the feast day of Filomena Lubana, also known as St. Martha. Another one of the laws most petitioned in the 21 division. Santa Marta, as she is known, is a law of domination. She is used to dominate situations, all kinds of situations. A lot of people think that St. Martha is only petitioned to dominate in love, meaning to dominate a relationship or to dominate a man. St. Martha is petitioned to dominate any kind of situation. So what offering can you offer Santa Marta on her feast day? Very simple. If you choose to, you can offer her some flowers. All the Loa love flowers and all the spirits love flowers. You can also offer her a green candle and a very simple service which entails 
a small white plate with some coffee ground and an egg on top. I know I'm going to get this question. A brown egg or a white egg? Either or what you have on hand. The important thing is the intention and the love with what you offer them the service. After you offer the services to the Loire's on their feast day, you must leave them alone to enjoy the services that you have offered them. I almost forgot to mention that another thing that you can offer Anaisa is sweets. Anaisa loves cake, especially if he has yellow frosting. That is also one of her favorite foods. These are offerings that are very simple that any non-initiate can do or anyone that is beginning on the path of the 21 division. If you have any questions in regards to the offerings that I have mentioned in these videos, you can place your comments below and I will gladly respond to your questions. If you have enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you're new to my channel and you have not subscribed yet, you can subscribe below and also click the notification bell to be notified when any of my new videos are up. I hope you have enjoyed this video. God bless you and much love and light to you all.